just got out of a session with a 28 year old guy whose girlfriend had left him. He was convinced she was his forever love. They'd been together two years and he was heartbroken. And it, it got me to thinking, you know, we've all been there, male, female, trans, whatever you are, we've all been in this situation of wanting someone who doesn't want me. And it's painful. And maybe it's a particular person, or maybe it's just a thread running through your life, that always longing for someone to want me, that longing to be chosen. It's in all of us. And part of what drives it is that in the human animal, there's a desire to be seen for who we really are and the person stays, for someone to see who I really am and they want it, right? We all have that. But of course, being seen for who I really am requires showing who I really am. That's the scary part. So you know what? I'll settle for someone just wanting me and I'll be whoever you want me to be. I'll give you everything, just want me, right? But what sends that longing to be wanted into sort of like hyperdrive, into overdrive, like fast fucking forward, I gotta have it, I gotta have it, is when you're taught as a child that you're not wanted. When you're taught, oh, we never wanted a second kid, or we only had you because your older brother needed a play friend, or you know what, uh, there's not enough attention to go around. There's one parent and three kids, there's not enough attention. And a, a deficit of attention going into the child's love cup means that they just want someone who wants them, who gives them attention, who wants to be with them, who treats them as if they're important and as if they fucking matter. And if a child doesn't get that growing up, then when they come to 13 or 17 and they have the first boyfriend or girlfriend or relationship or even a friendship, it's like, oh my God, someone actually wants me. Oh, I'll never let go. Oh my God, this is my forever love. Oh my God, I love this so much. And you cling. And you want to know why you cling? Because you, you've you never had it before. It's not that you're, it's your forever love. You, it's just some, the first person who actually fucking shows you kindness and attention and wants to be with you and wants to hug you and wants to be nice to you. So that sets up in childhood when we're taught we're not wanted, it sets up that longing to be wanted. And what happens when we get that? We give up everything. Ever been in a relationship where you give up everything? You say, oh, I'll let you treat me poorly. Oh, I'll let you hit me in the fucking face. Oh, I'll let you be mean. My kids, here's my money. I'll, let, I'll put up with everything because I'm sure you're gonna change. But more importantly, I just can't bear the thought of losing someone who actually wants me. And what it really is, is those messages from childhood that you were taught that hurt so much, when you have somebody who wants you, those messages, those painful messages, you're too fat, you're too stupid, you're too lazy, you're too smart, you're too, you're not wanted, is when I have someone here, those messages have a buffer between them because this person's mere presence proves that I am wanted. But if they leave, it's like, oh, I do suck, see? Nobody wants me. And all those voices come roaring back like a fucking raging fire. So let me ask you, how much of your life have you wasted? giving away so much of who you are just because you long to be wanted, just because you were terrified of all that bullshit voices and beliefs you were taught about yourself that were never true to begin with. Worse yet, how are you setting up your own kids by not making them feel wanted, not giving them enough attention, setting themselves up, setting them up to sell their body, their mind, their soul when they get into fucking relationships. Have a kick-ass day.